Hey cookies! So I took a week off, a little break, but I missed y'all and I'm back with a recipe that you're gonna love and it's easy and it's good and yeah! <laughs> I'm making my cheesesteak egg rolls. They're so easy to make. You're gonna love it. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm gonna be switching back and forth between voiceover and talk through. Y'all bear with me. But I have some thinly chopped onions and bell peppers that I'm adding to a bowl. I chopped them as thin as I possibly could. And to the bell peppers and onions, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt just to help release some of that water. And some olive oil. And we're gonna to toss that in and get ready to put them on the stove. All right, so we have my beloved cast iron skillet. Set at a medium high heat. And we're gonna just add in the vegetables and get out of their business and let them do what they do. Let's work on the meat. And as for the steak, I'm using sirloin. I know traditionally in cheesesteak recipes, they use ribeye, but ribeye has a little bit too much fat for me. Um, so I like to use sirloin. You can use ribeye, of course, or flank steak, whatever you like to use. But sirloin works for me, and I need to slice it really, really thinly. So I put it in the, in the freezer for about 30 minutes beforehand to get it kind of hard, if that makes sense. So it's easier to slice. So I'm going to go ahead and slice it up thinly. All right, so I have all of the meat chopped while sliced. It's thin, super thin, as thin as I can get it, okay? So we're putting it back in the bowl using that same bowl our onions and peppers were in because ain't nobody got time to be washing all these dishes. You know how I roll. All right, so I'm going to keep the seasoning on this really, really simple. Just a little bit of kosher salt. Some cracked black pepper. And a little bit of garlic powder and that's it give it a good toss and that seasoning I always try to keep my steak seasoning very very simple I don't like to do all that extra stuff with steak all right so head to the skillet all right so I have scooped those onions and peppers over to make room for our steak listen to that sizzle all right, back to voiceover. I do too much rambling. Something's wrong with me. But anyway, I used the garlic powder because I didn't have an actual garlic clove. Normally, I'll just throw in a garlic clove into the skillet while it's cooking here um, just to release some flavor into that. But the garlic powder is cool. But um, again, I have this on medium-high heat. And um, we're going to just cook it until it's reached my level of doneness. And I still don't know if that's a word or not. I gotta look that up. But it is for be coop, so done this. Alright, now I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter. I always like to add butter to my steak during the cooking process. And we're gonna mix it all together. I mix I ended up mixing the peppers and onions with the steak and continue to cook until it was done. All right, so it's time to start assembling our egg rolls. These are the wrappers that I use. They're by Melissa's. I love these, but any egg roll wrappers will be fine. I get mine um, from LeBlanc's, the grocery store, but you can find them at any grocery store, typically around the produce section. It's weird. They're near like the salad mix or you know the chives and parsley, all that stuff. They're in the produce section, so they're not hard to find, but I use these. And also um, water to seal the wrappers with. You can use an egg wash if you're fancy, but plain old water works well for me. All right, so wrapping egg rolls is really, really easy. I'm wearing gloves because I have nails. But um, you want to start off with the egg roll wrapper facing you in the diamond shape. So, oh, did I shake out? I'm sorry. Okay, so first we're going to add some provolone cheese and um, add some of the filling. I may be using too much. Take some of that away. All right. And you just start by folding in the bottom piece. Rolling it up once. Oh, where you going? 
All right, let me show y'all again, because I mess up too. You roll it once, fold it in once, one roll, okay? Then you take the sides and roll, fold the sides in. Can y'all see that? Okay. And with our brush, take a little bit of that water and just wet the, whatever you call it, the insides, whatever, that we're gonna seal. I'm horrible at this, y'all explain and stuff, but y'all see, right? Y'all know what's up, all right? And now we're just gonna tightly roll it up like so. Yay! Okay, let me show y'all again because I low-key confused myself. All right, you have the egg roll wrapper in a diamond shape in front of you. Literally a diamond in front of you. Lay your cheese down. I'm using provolone. Use whatever you want to use, but I like provolone in my Philly cheesecake. Add a little bit of the filling. The first time I used too much. This is actually perfect. You don't need a whole lot. And then you fold it over once. One complete fold. Then you tuck the ends in tightly. Make sure you don't have any holes because that grease will seep down into your filling. That's a no-no. Take a little bit of water or egg wash if you're fancy. Seal those ends and roll it up tightly. It's super easy. Super, super easy. Alright, so I've heated up some vegetable oil in my wok. And I used it on, I heated it on like a medium-high setting because I want my egg rolls to fry but also heat the cheese on the inside that makes sense to melt the cheese so um I don't want them to burn up while melting the cheese so I want to keep the heat low enough to where our cheese melts and our egg rolls don't burn it only takes about three to four minutes to fry these so really really easy all right these are done so now you can take them out and put them on some paper towel to drain and keep it going let's finish up Did some pranks to some people that was downright evil. Hey, my own mama turned her back on me, and that's my mama. Now y'all see why I stick to voiceover, but I'm letting them drain on paper towels and let me make them pretty for you. And there they are. I served them wet a little bit of Southwest Ranch, and let me cut them up for you. I know y'all want to see the inside. Wait for it. Hurry up, Coop. Come on. There it is. Super full. Look at that cheese. Yeah. These are the perfect appetizers, especially for game day. So ready for football season. Go Saints. Who that? <laughs> Check the description box. There will be the link to the full recipe per usual. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Be blessed.